Welcome to Git and GitHub tutorial course. Let's get started by creating an account on github.com. So browse this URL github.com and then click on sign up button. Now enter your email address. Wait for green color for continue button. Then click on continue button. Now create a password. Now click on continue. Now enter a username. Now click on continue. Would you like to receive product updates and announcement via email? Choose yes or no. For yes, type Y. And for no, type N. And then click on continue. Now verify your account by solving this puzzle click on start puzzle okay i'm going to solve this puzzle that's it now click on create account now you are almost done so log into your email address and then check your inbox and open this mail and enter the code here let's setting up git on your system and then click on download from here by following this official documentation for ubuntu use this command to install git on your system for mac os use this command to install git on your system i'm going to show how to install git on ubuntu copy this command open a new terminal and use sudo privilege and then use this command enter and then enter password I already have installed the latest version of git on my system now I'm going to show how to install git on Windows operating system click here to download the latest 64 bit version of git for windows operating system it may take a while for downloading after a successful download navigate to download folder and then open this executable file and allow this app to make changes to your device click on yes now you can read the license agreement and then click on next now select destination location where should git be installed this is the default location I'm going to install git on this destination location you can change by browsing that location where you want to install git and then click on next now select components which components should be installed 
and then click on next select start menu folder where should set up place the programs shortcuts then click on next now choose the default editor used by git select visual studio code as git's default editor and then click on next now select the first option and then click on next and then select the recommended option click on next then click on next now configure the terminal emulator to use with git bash i'm going to use main tty the default terminal for microsoft subsystem okay now click on next now choose the default behavior of git pool i'm going to select the default behavior click on next i'm going to select git credential manager then click on next now configure extra options you can enable symbolic link then click on next now click on install it may take a while for installing git on windows operating system that's it setup has finished installing git on your computer now click on finish button to exit setup that's it git installed successfully on windows operating system let's setting up git username for every repository on the computer so open git bash or terminal for linux open a new terminal and then set a git username using this command git config hyphen hyphen global and then user dot name here i'm going to enter my github accounts username now confirm that you have set the git username correctly using this command git config hyphen hyphen global user dot name that's it if you want to set the git username for a single repository don't use the portion of command hyphen hyphen global let's set your commit email address in git github uses your commit email address to associate commits with your account on github.com you can choose the email address that will be associated with the commits you push from the command line as well as web based git operations you may for web based git operations you can set your commit email address on github.com so open your favorite web browser
browse this URL and then click on sign in. Now enter email address or username and then enter the password. Now click on sign in and then click on this icon and then click on settings. In the access section of sidebar, click on email. In add email address box, type your email address and then click on add button. And then you can set your primary email address from this drop down list. Select email address that you want to make primary email address and then click on save button okay to keep your email address private when performing web-based git operations check this box keep my email addresses private set your email address for every repository on your computer open git bash or terminal and then use this command to set an email address in git git config hyphen hyphen global user dot email and then enter the email address in double quotation and then hit enter now confirm that you have set the email address correctly in git using this command that's it for single user avoid hyphen hyphen global from this command git and github setup is complete let's turn a directory into a git repository at first create a directory i'm going to create a directory into desktop using make directory command Now navigate to this directory by cd, use git init command, now list directories inside hello world and see dot git subdirectory. using this command now create a new file and add this file to staging area so I'm going to create a file name index.html I'm going to add this file to staging area using git add command okay let's create a commit git commit hyphen m this is my first commit let's show commit logs using this command
here head is a reference that points to the master branch every time you commit git updates both master and the head pointers to point to the last commit by default so let's create a new repository on github to put your project up on github you will need to create a repository for it to live in so open a browser and log into your github account in the upper right corner of any page use this plus drop down menu and select new repository type a short memorable name for your repository i'm going to name it my first repo optionally add a description of your repository i'm going to write my first repo on github and then choose a repository visibility i'm going to select public so that anyone on the internet can see this repository okay now initialize this repository with readme file so check this option to add a readme file to this repository you can skip this step if you are importing an existing repository okay now click on create repository that's it a new repository has been created successfully now clone this repository on local machine and commit your second chance now clone this repository on local machine and commit your first chance now copy this https url and then navigate to a directory where you want to store the clone repository and then use this command git clone and then paste this url hit enter now navigate to this clone repository by cd here you will see readme.md file now open this directory with any text editor i am going to open this directory with visual studio code let's open readme.md file now add an additional line now save this file and then commit a change to readme.md file go back to terminal and use this command git commit hyphen m enter the commit description second commit at first 
add this file to staging area using this command git add readme.md and then commit now show commit log this is the initial commit and this is the second commit now create a new file and add this file with this repository now save this file and then go back to terminal and use this command to add index.html to this repository and then commit a change to index.html file Here you will see the commit log. Let's push commit a remote repository. Let's push local commits to the remote repository using this command git push origin and then enter the branch name main this is the main branch only one default branch of my this repository okay now hit enter now enter username for your github account my case and then enter the password for this account for remote support for password authentication was removed on this date so use token authentication system go back to your github account open settings and then scroll down from here click on developer settings expand personal access token and then click on token from here generate a new token and then use that token into git bash or terminal here enter the token instead of password then hit enter that's it now open your profile click on repositories and open the newly created repository here you will see the commit changes you can create or delete branches directly on github you can create a branch in different ways on github but i'm going to create via the branches overview on github.com navigate to the main page of the repository open profile and then 
repositories and then open the repository above the list of files click on branch now click on new branch in the dialog box enter the branch name and optionally change the branch source select branch source from this drop down list ok now create branch now click on this repository and here you will see two branches let's commit a change in the newly created branch so select this branch and then open index.html file and edit this page now commit changes pull request let you tell others about changes you have pushed to a branch in a repository on github once a full request is opened you can discuss the review the potential changes with collaborators and add follow-up commits before your changes are merged into the base branch let's create a full request on github.com navigate to the main page of the repository this is my repository then in the branch menu choose the branch that contains your commits to create a pull request that is ready for review now click on create pull request and merge these two branches now click on pull request and then click on compare and pull request use the base branch drop down menu to select the branch you would like to merge your changes into and then use the compare branch drop down menu to choose the topic branch you made your changes in now type a title and description for your pull request to create a pull request that is ready for review now select create pull request and then click on create pull request and merge these two branches now choose create a merge commit from merge pull request drop down list from here select create a merge commit now click on merge pull request now confirm merge that's it pull request successfully merged and closed let's verify so go to main page of this repository and then select main branch and then open index.html and here you will see the changes commit merge with main branch now i'm going to show you how you can add your local project to remote git repository i'm going to add my local hello world project to remote git repository at first browse this url and log into your github account and then click on this plus drop down list 
select new repository now enter the repository name and then select visibility option and skip this step don't check add a readme file create repository now add a readme file into this project open this directory in terminal command prompt initialize and then add readme file or another files and folder using this command git add space and then dot and then hit enter now commit a chance okay define the branch name here now connect this project with remote repository into the main branch okay now hit enter now enter username for github account now enter the git access token instead of password then hit enter now reload and here you will see the local project pushed into the remote repository if you are a new to this channel subscribe this channel and like comment and share thank you so much for watching this video